Hello everybody, welcome, Richard Simons here. Uh, so firstly, let me apologize, this is just being filmed on a phone, I don't have my camera gear with me, but I wanna make the most of this opportunity because behind me here is a Tesla Model Y made from the Berlin factory. And we don't even get the Tesla Model Y performance in the UK, and this is the performance as well. So in this video, I hope you can hear me, I'm gonna run through the little differences I can pick out and find between this Berlin made Model Y and my Model Y long range, which was built in Shanghai. There's a few little bits we've already spotted, so come with me. Thank you to the guys at Custom Tesla, our friends there in Germany. They do some great aftermarket products, accessories for testers, and we do work with them already. So if you see anything on their website you like the look of, and you want that fitted in the UK, let them know, we can fit it for you, and we'll be glad to help you out. And thank you to Oliver for bringing his car over to the UK to this Tesla owners meeting here in Bicester, and bringing this car with him so we can all have a look at it. So, this is a performance model. Now, we don't even get the performance in the UK until maybe late this year. Uh, but in Germany, you are able to get one. It's the only model being produced by the Berlin factory so far. The long range will still be coming from Shanghai, I think, for now. Obviously, they're going to ramp up production at that new Berlin facility and then be producing probably all the cars for Europe. Uh, so there's a few things with this. What is the Model Y performance like in comparison to the long range? And what are the little differences between the Shanghai and the Berlin cars? Well, the first thing first, I might be able to take this for a drive in a minute, but I've been speaking to the owner, Oliver, and he was saying that the suspension on this car has definitely been changed. Springs and dampers seem to be different because this car has got a softer ride even compared to the standard long range. Remember, I've always been moaning a little bit about the ride on the long range cars being just that little bit firm. Okay, I expect the firm one in the performance, but the long range to be more comfortable. Well, now we've got the performance with softer suspension than the non-performance. So, seems a little bit the wrong way around, but it does seem like Tesla have been listening to the criticisms and as ever constantly evolve the product. So, I'm expecting a good ride comfort from this car. It looks very much like long range, but these are actually the 21 inch version of the uh, kind of Uber turbine style wheels. So they're actually a bigger wheel, but still more comfortable than the long range models had so far. So that's really good news to hear. A little bit more roll in the corners, apparently, yes, but it means that the car is just a more comfortable ride, which personally for this type of category of car, I think I would prefer. We've also been looking at the paint quality on this car. So come with me here. Um, so this one's in the Pearl Y and looking up close to the paint, it is of good quality. They've got a new paint facility at the Berlin factory, so we uh, have been told there would be paint quality improvements. To be honest, all the Shanghai cars I've seen over the last year, year and a half, have all had perfectly good paint, no problems that I've had. Uh, but looking at it as closely, it is lovely and smooth and glossy, so it is good quality paint. All the fit and finish and the panels all looks brilliant on this car, I have to say. Okay, so that's a couple of the basics. Let's get into the little nitty gritty details of what's different between this and the cars that aren't made in Berlin. Right, the front space is the same, nothing's changed there. Headlights the same, they're matrix but don't have any active matrix function, so nothing seems to have changed there as yet. We still have that little bit of headlight overlapping the bumper, which basically all Model 3s and Ys seem to have. I was wondering if they were going to try and make that smooth. Uh, but the fit and panel finish alignment here is brilliant. Uh, but I have spotted a few differences, mainly on trims and um, the interior. So come round to the driver's door here, Serge. Okay, so let's start with the door actually. This material here, we think is just slightly more squishy and kind of slightly better feeling material, this plastic. So it's not quite as hard a plastic there. There's been a change to the speakers in the front. So um, my, uh, one of the colleagues from uh, Custom Tesla was just saying that they've removed some of the tweeters from the front bar. So I think it's got mid-range only in the front bar and now just the tweeters here, not the tweeters in the front sound bar right up by the windscreen here. So that's mid-range speakers only. Um, but what they were saying is this car's also got different subs and they say the quality of the sound system in this car is better than the Shanghai cars that we've seen so far. So actually a better sound system with this car. Would a Berlin made long range be the same as this performance? We think probably so. They normally the performance long range got the same sound system. So slightly improved sound, brilliant. The front seats are different. So I'm gonna swap places, come around here. So there is more support and bolstering in these front seats here. 
I've been sitting in these and they don't look obviously different, but this bolster here is bigger and more supportive for cornering. And I think here a little bit as well. So that has changed. These seats have changed. And these seats, I think, are made in uh, Berlin as well, actually. Uh, one little thing, we think the glove box opens a little bit more gently than the uh, Shanghai car, so we think the glove box opens more gently. Coming through to the back seats, this here all looks much the same, I'll climb through. So, uh, sorry, actually first, we think this material here is again just a slightly squishier, not as hard a plastic as the uh, previous cars. In the back here, um, something's changed a little bit so they were saying that the kind of fitment of the back here i think it's just slightly tighter so that we were getting rattles from the headrests and this middle seat in the back but this all feels a bit sort of tighter fitting and these seats are different these seats are made in berlin and we think basically there's, there's a little changes with the seats here hard to determine exactly what but there's something just a little bit different with these but albeit much the same and you do have the same sort of center armrest and you can still fold this middle seat but whereas in my Model Y, I can put my hand around the back here and fold this whole middle section down, I can't with this car because it has a parcel shelf now. Come around, I'll show you from the boot. So, carbon fiber spoiler for the performance, of course. So this is the parcel shelf, which is now being fitted to the cars arriving in the UK from Shanghai as well. So this isn't just for the Berlin cars, this is a Shanghai produced long ranges as well. And this is how it works. You kind of flip it up like that. And you fold it back and then you can lift that a little bit as well. And then you bring it forward here. You can also just fold that back section so you can reach that middle seat function there as well and release that down. So it's kind of interesting. It actually works with a sort of magnetic system. And then you can pull the whole thing out as well. So it's sort of magnetic clips there. Um, whether you find that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not too bothered about, I think I'd rather not have the parcel shelf actually, but let me know in the comments below what you think you'd prefer. Would this just end up in the garage and loft forever and then lost? Or do you think it's a good thing to have? Doesn't do any harm having it, I guess. So, because of that, this is different. This trim here is different. And uh, this material here and uh, mouldings are slightly different as well. Nothing too much has changed, but these panels and these panels are all actually different. And speaking of the carpeting, I forgot to mention one thing, so I'm going to drag you back around here. Sorry, this is all had up. We've only got a few minutes with this car. In here, uh, come around to this side. This here was hard plastic before, but this is now carpeted up. Remember me saying in a previous video that you can get that banging noise from the seatbelt onto here because this is plastic? Well, that's now carpet, so that's good. Sorry, I forgot to mention that before. <laughs> uh, in here, all seems much the same. This is a this isn't a factory fitment uh, floor protector. That's something the owners added. And then in here, this all seems much the same uh, under the floor storage and everything there. And then close that down. We know that these struts have been altered or changed in different struts because they close much. Uh, they're much quieter and smoother. So there's a slightly different sort of power shot mechanism for the tailgate there. Okay, two questions I haven't answered yet. Um, number one will be about, you know, 4680, structural battery back production, that kind of thing. This is not 4680 cell, it is not structural battery back production. That probably will follow at some point, probably next year sometime, I don't know. Um, put a finger in the wind and we'll find out at some point, but it's not that and we don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. The second thing, just checking on the software just now, it does not have track mode. So there is no track mode on the Model Y performance. It will there at some point? We don't know. Let us know in the comments below if you've got any information on track mode for the Model Y performance, but it is not on this car at the moment. This is Oliver is just the nicest guy. Not only did he let us have a good pod and poke around it, but he said, yeah, take it out for a drive. So we are at this event, so I, I can only just go on a few little roads just out here. But I'm so intrigued about this suspension being that little bit softer, even though it's performance. So I'm just going to take it out onto a couple of the roads around here and uh, see what it's like. But look at this, we're going across the field now at uh, 30 kilometers an hour. So um, this is pretty good, actually. It's just absorbing that initial thing much more. It's not crashing through the cabin. Mm. That was quite a big bump. Yeah. It is more comfortable, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Definitely notable. That's impressive. 
obviously it's, I can't really get the speed up to try handling uh, but Oliver was saying you, you do get a bit of lean if you start getting you know enthusiastic uh, cornering but nonetheless it isn't half bad it isn't half bad so to drive it is just that little bit more absorbent it's not like a night and day difference they're really similar but when you just get the little bumps it just seems to take the little sort of shock and the bit that would jar you around out of that and um, back onto a bit of field here and it just feels like the suspension's moving around in the arch much better doesn't it it's just quite absorbent with it so yeah yeah slightly better than a long range but this is a performance so that's good i wonder what the new long range will get will long range get the same stuff or will it be any softer don't know um there we are this is a model y performance still got the ryzen chip still got front and rear double laminated glass here and to most people it looks exactly the same nice door closure did you hear that sounds nice so as ever just seem to be little incremental improvements and changes um but yeah, it's a good car oh, one interesting thing i was saying um i was speaking to the owner oliver about this he was saying you've got these front mud flaps in standard when you come off the motorway and you do some hard cornering, that softer suspension is soft enough that these mud flaps can hit the ground so you go in the corner a little bit hard you'll hear your mud flap scraping so that's how the suspension has been softened but it's definitely been softened um and i think we've got larger brake distance here as well so look at this we've got these 21 inch wheels uh it's got curly p0 t55 35 r21s i did see a video yesterday of bjorn who's managed to get some 19 inch wheels in the performance and he's been doing some testing with that suspension as well so it's probably worth looking up uh bjorn nillian's videos as well but interesting to look around not obviously different but just a few nice little bits so sorry for the quality of this i hope you can hear and see all this okay and uh thank you for watching we'll see you on the next one